everyone. My name is Nur Zarina Binti Nasi and my matrix number is 09 ep 18 f 103 Today, I will be teaching you on how to solve question number 4 for EOC 1B. This EOC is for the subject signal and system, the EC 40113. We are given a causal discrete time linear time invariant system which is y n plus 5 over 6 y n minus 1 plus 1 over 6 y n minus 2 equal to x n. Okay, we have known that x n and also y n is the input and output respectively okay what we want from this question is they need us to find the impulse response calculate the impulse response h n and also they want us to sketch the roc for H Z on the poles, poles, zeros diagram. Okay, as you can see, this is the equation that I have solved by I obtained the answer by referring to the co some common Z transform parable. But this answer is not really correct because it doesn't state the poles and the polarity. What we need to do next? In order to achieve the post and polarity, we need to do the integration. Integration. As I mentioned before, we need to do the integration. This is the first integration that I've made. And this is the second integration that I've solved. Now, we got the final answer for question number one. Then, we need to solve question number two. That is, we need to sketch the ROC diagram. Now, I will be teaching you on how to draw the pulse diagram. First of all, we will be needing x and y axis. The x axis is represent the r and the y axis will be represent the h, z. And at the center, we must put 0. On the left, we will be putting the negative 1 over 2 value and the negative 1 over 3. Okay, then we must draw the dotted line around the axis like this. Okay, and then shade the outer part of the dotted line as long as you shade it. You go this is the post diagram for the question number four and good afternoon my name is nor shafika kisina from class dep 4 c 09 dep 18 f 1115 okay today i will present uh question number five for eoc subject uh signal system okay this question is uh a continuous time linear time invariant LTI system S. Okay, this is the equation. I will show you how to answer the question. Okay, this is the question number five. Uh, this is the input and this is the question. First, you will have to rewrite the question. Then, you have to change the variable. After you change the variable, you have to follow the... This is the formula. So, you have to rewrite back in that form. And this is the... This is not the final answer. Then, from this, you have to use... inter. Uh, you have to integrate this equation. So, I use 10 over j omega power of 2 minus... 5j omega plus 4 equals to a over j w plus 4 plus b over j w plus 1. Okay, 
where did I get this? This is from this equation. We have to uh, we have to pecahkan. Okay, just follow the step until you get the end, the answer. Okay, from this you have to rewrite back in the proper form like in the formula a equation plus b equation same with hw like this then this is the final uh, this is not the final answer yet then you have to change it into the formula form so this is the end the final answer for question number five that's it from me